Let's go first to Aaron Ladd. Hey, hope all is well with you. First, uh, just kind of a housekeeping question, then I'll, I'll have another one after that. We saw the update on Tyron Matthew. Do you have a status for him as far as the game on Sunday? I don't. Um, he's still in the protocol, so we just have to uh, weigh that out and see see where he's at. I mean, I'll know more as we go on. I I knew that was going to be the first question, you know, where he was. So. And then the next one, I, I, looking back at the game from last year, obviously Chad comes in and, and plays his part. Is there anything else that stands out from the, from that matchup as you uh, look forward to this one? Yeah, so listen, I mean, they got a heck of a football team and they uh, they feel like they've made themselves better this offseason. So, and I can understand why. They've added some uh, a few people in the secondary and they've added uh, Clowney up front and uh, they've just, you know, they've, the linebacker position is a little different. So, um, and then offensively, they, they've got a couple guys back. So they're pretty good football players. And, and so they're, they're fully loaded and, uh, you know, they're good and they're well coached. Kevin's done a nice job with them. Next to Herbie Teope. Hey, coach, uh, yeah, Aaron asked a question I wanted to ask, but sticking with the house cleaning, uh, Willie Gay is now on an injured reserve. How much do you anticipate, uh, utilizing Nick Bolton more in the starting package uh, during his absence. Yeah. So listen, Nick had a good preseason and um, I mean, he's worthy of <clears throat> stepping in there and playing. So he'll, he'll get some play time. Yes, for sure. Let's go next to Matt McMullen. So hundred percent capacity at the stadium on Sunday. Just how excited are you to welcome the fans back uh, into the stadium and what can that energy do for your guys, particularly on opening day? Well, listen, I, I mean, I'm probably speaking for all of us <clears throat> that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, after watching this weekend with the with the college games, uh, it was pretty amazing. I mean, it was goosebumpish, right? So you watch that and, you, you know, the, the people were into it. I, I almost felt like they were kind of let out of a camp somewhere and be able to, oh, man, we've got freedom again here so that they can go and, and uh, go to these games. So. Uh, it was very exciting. I, I look forward to uh, um, Arrowhead uh, being, um, you know, just as exciting as it's ever been. I mean, it may be a little bit more. It's, uh, And I know the players feed off of that, too. Yeah. Let's go next to Adam Teicher. You had told us when camp started that uh, you guys were, in terms of players, about 90% vaccinated. Where are you now after the cuts and after the establishment of the practice squad? Yeah, well, I mean, we've just we're we're right there. I mean, we're we we're just we're, we've got you know we've, we're right at the top. So um, uh, there are not many that aren't vaccinated. I'll put it that way. I'm not sure what we're supposed to say and not say on that, but we we've, we've only you know we're, we're just about 100. percent We'll go next to Matt Derrick. Hey, Coach. I know you, you've been asked before about you know the fact that you know early in the season you get up to hot starts, and I know that you don't necessarily feel like there's any magic formula or anything to what you do, but at the same time, what is it about this time of year that gets your juices flowing, that gets you excited for the start of the season? And, and what do you tell the guys that gets them up for it too? Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, it's the first game and it's <clears throat> one of 17. So you, you um, it, it's, it's as important as the rest of them. It's just, it's happening now. And it's, there's nothing before this that's gotten you to this point. So there's unknowns. I mean, there's unknowns. If you're on the offensive side of the ball, what's the defense going to do? If you're on the defensive side, what's the offense going to do? What are the new looks on special teams that they're going to throw at you? So there's a little bit more unknown than you would have <clears throat> as you get through the third and fourth game of the season. So you, you've, uh, uh, that's the part I get excited about. Like um, uh, you get your juices going. Plus, you're getting to start the season. I mean, that's always exciting. And here we get to start it at home, which is which is great against a very good football team. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Because I know that Clyde and Daryl were just a little bit banged up toward the end of camp, and 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 that last preseason game didn't really see them. So I was just curious, your expectation that they'll both be 100 percent to go uh, for Sunday? Yeah. So they practiced this past week and and did a nice job with it, and <clears throat> it looked like they're moving around pretty good. So I. I think we'll be okay there.